fatality crash involving a single vehicle. Uh, around 5.30 this morning, the single Mazda car was northbound here on Century 21 Drive at a high rate of speed. The driver lost control of the car in a curve, in a slight right curve. Um, as a result, he left the roadway, struck a light pole and a tree at the entrance to Boathouse Apartments there at 400 Century 21 Drive. There were two occupants in the vehicle. One of them was ejected. That occupant was transported to a local hospital with serious or critical injuries. The other occupant uh, remained in the car after the crash occurred. The car landed on its roof uh, with the other occupant inside and he was pronounced deceased at the scene. Um, we're traffic homicides currently working to determine who was driving and what factors might have been involved in the crash. And uh, this marks the 48th traffic fatality in Duval County so far this year. And I'm open to questions. And so we don't know uh, which person was driving, especially with the person that was killed in the car. Still working on determining who was driving, yes, sir. Do you have either gender or age of that uh, both, both occupants were adult males, and we're still working on next of kin. Do you have an idea how fast that person was? Oh, no. we saw that the extent of that damage. No, sir. It, it's obvious speed was involved. we got a lot of work to do to determine how much speed was there. Are you uh, consider, uh, concerned that maybe alcohol or, or other factors? We always check through? for that, but at, at this point, we're still early in the investigation. But we will look into that as well. You heard from somebody walking by that cars may be raced on this road. Are you guessing that might be involved or that there might be another vehicle involved? We have no witnesses telling us this one was directly involved in a race, but again, we'll check the area for cameras and such to see if that we develop any of that information as well. And what happens next, uh, knowing that you are still very active, to walk us through the next steps of this uh, investigation? How much longer do you expect to be here? Well, I don't want to get too detailed in the investigation, but as you could tell when you're down there, the road is still open, one lane, so we haven't blocked traffic. Fortunately, it's a Sunday morning, not a major roadway, so traffic's not an issue. We've probably got another hour to an hour and a half of the entrance being blocked, we do realize that it's affecting the neighbors in that apartment complex, so we're trying to get it open as quick as we can. Were either of the occupants wearing seatbelts? I know one was ejected, but were seatbelts as well? At this point, it appears neither one had a seatbelt on. Thanks, guys. Thank you.